Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Boundless Expanse. Today we're going to move our setups down here because today I want to make or want to actually no, yes, I want to make a auto spawner tower and then use the tower to fuel our endeavors for today, which is entering the sci-fi age. So what we need to do first is come over here and make a grinder. Then we need to make an auto spawner. So auto spawner. And we have enough materials to make two, I believe. Yep. Well, we could make more, but uh, two for right now. So we have two auto spawners and a grinder. And I also want to make a tesseract, which is this, which is simple. So I think I want two for right now. Then we need to use the resonant ender uh, and put it in the t uh, the frame with the fluid transposer. Uh, we do have enough, hopefully. There it goes. Okay, yeah, this is going to take a little while. One second. There we go, both Tesseract frames, and then we want to complete the Tesseract, and we're missing some bronze, which is bronze blend, which is simple stuff. Okay, we have enough for four, that's perfectly fine, that's all we really need, not into the pulverizer, silly me, we want it into the furnace, make it go broom quickly like that, and then Tesseract frame. And we don't have enough bronze for more, so that'll be, uh, what was the components for it? Oops, uh, back, 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 okay, hold on, back, oh, wait, that's the wrong, uh, okay, thermal expansion, bronze blend, which is copper and tin, okay, so how much copper we got? I hope it's enough copper, oh, we got plenty, we got plenty! And then some tin, which I believe I actually smelted up quite a bit to just avoid the hassle. I did. Okay, so throw this in the pulverizer. Let that go through its little thing quickly. Let's grab those four pieces and then turn that into bronze blend. Oh, oops, wrong, wrong one. Hold on, we're waiting for the thermal expansion one. Thermal expansion, the blend, which is... Copper, 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 tin. Okay, okay, so I just had it slightly wrong. Let's try that again. So copper, 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 tin. We get ourselves bronze, and we'll smelt that up really quick. We only need four pieces. There we go. And then come over here and complete the second Tesseract. So now we have two Tesseracts ready to go. And now I'm going to be honest here. Never worked with a Tesseract before. It is not something I have uh, really played around with, so I believe... If we want to, we place it here, then we go configuration, we want to block fluids and block items, we only want to make, oops, uh, N, so that, and then the frequency is 1, and then energy, right, so then receive only, send and receive, no, I just want to send, and then if we come over here, Oh, apparently my jetpack's off? Oh, right, yeah, I, t I turned it off. I'm silly. Place this one down. Configure that. So make that to the same one. Get rid of these. And receive energy only. And then if we place the grinder down, we can see if it gets energy. It is that instantly filled up. Good, 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 good. So that makes our lives a little bit easier. We don't have to run a you know cord down here or anything. Now we have wireless energy going. So that is working. We also need mob essence for this to start running. Well, we'll figure that out in a second. For right now, I need to hop back up here and grab a whole bunch of building blocks. Now, I'm going to make it out of cobble for right now. And then when we're done and we have the system actually up and running, I will then actually, you know, spruce it up a little bit. You know, I don't like uh, having some ugly looking thing going on here. So let's come down here. And then make a good square. So right like here in the middle, this is where we want the two auto spawners, right? So right there, two in the middle. And then let's make a decent sized area around. 
the box so they have a good place to spawn how far did we go here so three one two three and then back this way i just want to give them a decent place to spawn so i'm going to bring this up and then bring you back so I have the box set up, I have all of the energy running to the things, now all we need is the actual safari nets, which I want to make these first, which are the conveyor belts. Let's make a couple of these, let's make like 48, that should be enough, and then I want these safari nets, uh, we can probably only make two until we're actually out, yeah, we're out of ender pearls, but that's the purpose of today, so... Uh, let's throw down the Enderman and grab you before you teleport away. Let's throw down the Wither Skeleton and grab you before you throw away. You actually hurt quite a bit. You are a warped one, so I know why you hurt. And we have a Blaze, which we'll obviously keep to ourselves. Uh, we're probably actually also going to need a Structure Duck of some point. Uh, let's see what kind of covers we have just to grab one and use one. There we go. Uh, just a small little cover so we actually close in all the light. I actually I hope it closes in all the light. So let's go like that and then like so that should close in all the light. I hope uh, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, no, it's uh, not doing what I hoped, obviously. And that is still not helping. It's case. So this is probably going to have to move up a little bit and go like here. I, I hope they can go there. That would be great if they could go there. That's what I'm hoping. So let's take, uh, let's break you actually. And all the cobblestone in my inventory is going to become a problem here real quick. Oops. Ah, <sighs> the problems with the atomic disassembler. Of course, it breaks everything, but it breaks everything too quickly, so the game's like, what are you doing? Okay, put all this stuff away. Actually, let's put the stuff that we don't need in here anyway in there. Go like that, so we can get all the cobble quicker. Put all that back in there. Put all this back in here. We still have the cobble. I still just forgot to put it back in the ME system. That's why it's still here. So let's do that, and we want to funnel all of them. Okay, so that moves us this way. Uh, I want to funnel all of them into the front of the grinder. As the grinder has a sort of uh, range in front of it, uh, we want to funnel them all into this same area. So if we can just get all of them to go right in front of the grinder, that would probably work well enough. That would probably be perfect. Oop, these ones and this one, not proper, like that and that. Then we just fill in the rest like this, and then we should be fine. So the, the whole goal is to take all of the mobs and funnel them into the specific spot. We need to funnel them straight into where the grinder wants to eat them. Oh, we just have enough. Fantastic. I didn't even plan that out. So everywhere we go, we should just end up right here at the front of the grinder, and the grinder should kill them. So if we come... Uh, let's grab this. Let's wait if we okay. Let's just throw you in here and you in there and Then get ourselves out You might start working you don't have power though, so let's fix you both of you should have power now and You do need essence Hmm how do you get mob essence? Mob counter, mob router, those aren't what we need, probably. Mobius unstable ingot, still not what we need. Hmm, okay, give me one second. I am going to take a quick cut and figure out how to get mob essence for the machines, since I believe all three of them actually need mob essence, including the one in here, the grinder. So give me one second and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what I just did. I crafted an XP extractor with some buckets in my inventory. We right click it, hold, and it will take a level from us and give us an essence bucket, which will be put into the essence drum. The essence drum, along with some fluid pipes, which we should have apparently none of. Where did they all go? I thought I had quite a few. That's okay. Let's craft some up. It was the hardened one. Should be able to craft a few of them. Let's just get a few, 24, that'll be fine. And the drum, then we can take the drum and bring ourselves over here. Let's place the drum right about here. Then, hmm, 
Okay. Let's think about this. So if we bring it like this, it can't connect there. So we have to sort of bring it to the side of it. But if we bring it to the side of it, it lets light in. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit of a conundrum. I can already see. So if we just bring it to both of those, close this back up, we need to figure out how to not let light in or figure out a better way, which honestly, I'm probably going to end up figuring out a better way anyway, because I am obviously being quite silly with my design choices here. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely going to have to find a better way. I am uh, being a bit silly with my design choices here. They're uh, not the smartest design choices in the world. So let's just finish this up for right now, like this. Get the basic system going. Boom. And then we also probably need some servo, uh, servos on there. Let's jetpack. I keep freaking need to turn on the jetpack. Okay, let's grab some servos, which I'm sure we have crafted up. Servo. Oh yeah, we have plenty of reinforced servos. Okay, so then we can put on the servos and make the essence go to the machines. But obviously my setup sort of sucks, so I'm going to do a quick cut, fix the setup, and then be right back with you guys. Okay, so I pretty much got it fixed up. I made this precision sledgehammer, which shows us the area of effect of most of these for the harvester. If we come inside here, we can actually see the area of effect for the spawner. We can see the area of effect for the grinder. So that's pretty much all we needed to do. Now, I was thinking to myself, okay, so how would this be the easiest method? How would we do this the easiest way? So I'm thinking this is going to be the easiest way. Uh, we don't want items, but we want fluids and energies. So if we attach these to each other and then attach some energy along with this powered off, we should be getting essence. And then if we come into here and turn on our hover so we're not falling down and then attach it to the fluid energy, right? And then we only want to receive Wait, 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 that was close, that was close, we need to come back out here, grab this one, we need to send only, and send only, so they're only sending, we don't want it receiving, no wait, we want it to send and receive power, hold on, send and receive, and then we want to come in here on hover mode, of course, then receive, receive, and then add power from here, oops, power, power, so then both of these get power, this should be getting mob essence, this should be getting mob essence, they're both filled up, they should be spawning here real quick, there they are, there they go. So then we can get out of here, block both of these holes up, hopefully, I think, that was the only hole in there that was making sound, and one just got killed, let's uh, double check this. Yep, the only place in there that was doing that. Okay, so those guys should be getting killed. And then we want a item. We want an item duct and a fluid duct going to the barrel. So we want an item duct and we have a fluid duct. So, oh my god, I hate it when it bugs out. Okay, uh, item duct, fluctuating item duct, item duct, normal item duct. That's completely fine. Let's come back down here. We also need a chest. Almost forgot that. We have plenty of chests in the ME system. So chest, boom. There we go. Let's just grab that. Uh, we want to collect the drops from them, obviously. Oh, they're getting stuck in the wall. Uh, boom, chest, and that should be grabbing our ender pearls. fantastic. And let's actually switch the sides of this real quick. So if we add the tank over here, then the, okay, this is getting loud. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Uh, we want the fluid duct there. We want to take it out of there, right, like this. Then we want another fluid duct here. That will take out the mob essence from there, so ignore that. So that should be getting its fair share of like, so it's pretty much, it's a self uh, sustaining machine other than in there. That's the only problem. Oh wait, oh, we didn't put in the, uh, we did not put in these guys, which was the other one we wanted to put in. We wanted to use the ender, enderman and the wither skeleton in hopes of getting uh skulls so we can do some enderman or wither fights and we want the ender pearls to get into draconic evolution but in fact 
I'm going to check the episode time. This might be all we had time for. So maybe next episode we'll do some designing and then the episode after that, or the same episode depending on how fast I can get it designed for a big square box uh, that matches the ship uh, up. Uh, we'll do some Draconic Evolution, or, if, or you know, of course, if it's uh, not much of an episode right now, we'll do some Draconic Evolution today. So one second. Okay, so I've been running it for a little while now, and the Essence Drum sort of keeps up. It sort of fulfills its duty on being a self-sustaining system other than the energy. It just sort of has troubles actually getting enough essence to keep running so that might be something we want to look into but i added a small sorting system here to get rid of all the swords that come through from the wither skeletons as i don't really need them and it leaves more room for ender pearls and we already have a wither skull and that's fantastic so if it comes through like a, a sword comes through gets into the chest either side it will pick it up and move it into the trash can the trash can will instantly delete it forever uh, for example that coal all right so now actually i want to grab some of this some of these some of that good stuff and come up here because I do want to start some draconic evolution today and this is considered the sci-fi age in the mod pack this is the very end of the game uh, the very end stuff you're supposed to be able to make so draconic evolution we need to start with this draconium, uh, draconium ore and we're going to grab however many we want we have a whole bunch of graphite in there from before so I think I want to get like uh, maybe half a stack does that sound good to you guys I think that sounds pretty good to me and can we pulverize it yes we get some dust okay so we can double it yeah we can double it so we get 64 out of that instead and then we can smelt it up so let's send that down there to get smelted right all of that down here all of this gets into draconium ingots which is fantastic that is really what i wanted to see here so then the next step says we need to make these sort of core things which requires a whole lot more and these core things are right here these weavern wyvern wavern I don't know how to pronounce that. Weaver and Energy Core, Waver and Energy Core. So we need some of these, which is a Renaissance Flux Ducts and a Draconic Core, which is Draconium, Gold, and Diamonds, which isn't that hard. We have plenty of that stuff. So let's actually make a whole bunch of those cores since I feel like we're going to need them. So that, these, let's make a whole bunch of these. Like I'm talking like a whole bunch, like maybe 16. Ooh. Okay, so we're out of Draconium. That's a little bit of an issue. So we're going to have to use a lot of Draconium, but I feel like we're going to be using these energy cores a lot. So now we need some Flux Ducts, which is an energy capacitor, which is a hardened one, which is a leadstone one, which is that. And we can make a couple of these. So one, two, three, four, and then go back into it and get... Uh, leadstone? It was leadstone. Okay, so let's just go to these flux capacitors. So the next one was these one, two, three, four. Then the next one was hardened. Ooh, are we missing some hardened stuff? We're missing the leadstone ones. I thought we just did the leadstone ones. Leadstoned, hardened, oh, redstone ones. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Redstone flux capacitor. Boom. Okay, so what are we missing here? Electrum. Okay. So Electrum was silver and gold. Okay, so that's simple stuff. So silver. Let's grab like a stack of you. Let's go to gold. Gold. Apparently, that's how I spell it. Gold. That's, uh, that's some good old spelling right there. The gold. I love the pulled. Okay, so I'm going to smelt this up or pulverize this up and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, we're back. Quick crash. A uh, small, small, tiny little crash I had there. So let's get one, two, three, four. And then the resonant ones, which we are out of Enderium. Okay, of course. Of course it has to be the Enderium. So we have Pryothium and we have the Enderium. We are running out of shiny metal. This worries me because shiny metal is hard to find and it's not exactly the best resource to go and mine because it's it's sort of annoying to go and mine it and find it. And, oh, oh, oh no. Okay. Um, let's go 
down. Ooh, I am getting some frame rate lag right here. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Um, let's go down here and pick ourselves up another stack of ender pearls. No problem because we have the long fall boots on. Another stack of ender pearls. Let's throw these in the magma crucible and such. So come back up here and then throw them in there. Uh, then make sure. Oh, it is completely filled. Okay, let's just throw in buckets then. Let's just grab a whole bunch of buckets, because we're going to need a lot of Enderium anyway. Um, so, like, the end part of the mod for Draconic Evolution is probably going to involve a lot of Enderium anyway. So, let's just grab a whole bunch. Let's grab the rest of the Electrum, just in case we need to redo this entire process once again. And then, Enderium. Right, I didn't actually craft the Enderium. I am silly. Hoops. I'm like, oh yeah, this is fine. We have all the Enderium buckets. I'm going to be completely okay. So let's go like that, and let's just get as much as we can. Forgot the shiny metal. Panicked there for a second because I thought we all we just used it all in one fellow swoop, and I would have I I probably would have cried because I don't want to go mining for some. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard time. My ooh, hey, hold on, hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone here, hold the phone. Uh, digital miner. Resonant thruster, graphite bar, ender quarry, resonant motor, which is a fluid transporter, is that, trans, a transporter, yes, a transporter, a few silicon, stuff like that, transportation core, that's not that bad, these aren't that bad, to stabilize reds, oh, okay, this is all really simple, but this is all stuff you've seen me make before, so I'm going to tell you what, Tell you what, tell you what, I'll be right back. I'm going to do a whole bunch of crafting. I'm going to get the supplies for this. Oh, and there's a blood moon. Okay, yeah, I will. Well, I'm going to cut anyway because blood moon makes everything orange now. So even if I didn't want to cut, I'm going to have to cut because orange, it, it makes everything extremely orange. But I will do some crafting off camera. I will get ourselves the... Um, Supplies for the digital miner and then we can do some digital mining stuff. We can set up the digital miner Maybe do we have the deep dark? We do have the deep dark That requires unstable ingots, which is the division sigil, which is a wither Okay, so we're not going to the deep dark, but we can set up the digital miner at the very least and it'll mine out around us So forget draconic evolution this episode We need the digital miner before so we can get enough shiny ingots and shiny uh, pulverized metals to actually be able to do some draconic evolution So backpedaling a little bit going to craft some stuff. See you in a second Okay, here we go. I finished everything that took way too Okay, whoo, that scared me for a second. Um, finished up everything, everything should be good to go. We just need to smelt these up and then we're finally good. We have the digital miner and we should be all set. And that makes me excited since I then I won't need to go out mining again. Then we just need to actually work on getting to the deep dark so we can have an easier time. So one teleporter, two teleporter, then, Boom! Digital miner. There we go. Look at this small thing in my hand. And when we place it down, it's going to be massive. Let's go down next to the Tesseract because that'll probably be easier. Boom, right there. Ooh, boy, this thing is huge. Um, do we have any flux things? We don't. So we can come back up here and grab a flux ducks. Flux duct. There we go. Redstone energy flux duct. And then come back down here, and I believe that port in the back is for the energy. I would hope. Boom. Nope. Nope. I was wrong. I was wrong. Where do you insert the energy? Probably right there. No? <laughs> no, is that not the case? One, two, three. Uh, okay, so if it's not receiving energy from this side, let's steal you and attach you there. Now you're getting energy. Now we can click on you. Uh, we don't have the upgrades, but we can start, and then, uh, and then it should start picking up stuff. Now, we don't have any of the upgrades. Uh, we obviously probably can't make any of the upgrades, so up, let's, uh, let's check this. Upgrade, uh, let's see, that's extra utilities upgrades, this is, uh, extra utilities, 
still auto magi auto magi mind factory reloaded open computers solar flux thumbcraft gen industry i don't know what that is ooh that sounds interesting logistics pipe ender io uh maybe digital no how do you mechanism let's just search up mechanism Ah, these are the upgrades. Okay, filter upgrades, muffling upgrades, gas upgrades, speed upgrades. I don't see soak touch and such. How do you get soak touch and such? Hmm. Auto eject, auto pull, soak touch? Oh, you can just turn it on? Okay, okay. So then disabled. We don't need it using that. We have enough energy already running. So is it mining? Should I just leave it here for a bit and assume it's mining? Well, I'm going to sit here for a bit and assume it's mining. But for right now, I think we're going to wrap up this episode. We got the mob cage done, which is sort of off right now. Uh, we don't have any uh, essence, so I'm going to have to go kill a few bosses in the Erebus, get a couple hundred levels, and make sure I can fill up a... Um, fill up a bucket so it can start uh, getting a decent start or a decent head start on the mob essence but that should be easy enough and we did the digital miner next episode we'll probably get into some draconic evolution stuff uh, along with possibly detailing this and making it look better than a cobblestone box but for right now that's the end of the episode I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next video so remember stay fancy and peace out Bye bye